in my previous lecture i had talked about the ad hoc networks their features types and advantages just to recall you there are four types of wireless ad hoc networks first one is manets that is mobile ad hoc networks number two is vehicular ad hoc networks that is wanet third one is wireless sensor network that is wsn and fourth one is wireless mesh network that is wmn in today's lecture i will be talking about the network architecture of mobile ad hoc, ad hoc networks that is manets now what a manet is i have already briefed you in the previous lecture also a manet is a self configuring network of mobile routers and associated hosts connected by the wireless links like you can see here these are the mobile nodes which are connected via the wireless links these dotted lines are representing the wireless links now the union of which are forming an arbitrary topology due to the nodal mobility the network topology may change rapidly and unpredictably over the time the network is decentralized where network organization and message delivery must be executed by the nodes themselves now let me talk about the network architecture of manet manet is a dynamic decentralized and ever changing topology with the ability and possibility of the nodes moving arbitrarily the the usage has become increasingly prevalent in the emerging uh, in the emerging times such as in case of disasters and wars and also in the daily life such as university campus and conference settings now reason of the popularity is mainly due to the easy collaboration and efficient communication on the fly without the need of any costly network infrastructure the architecture of wireless uh, ad hoc uh, ad hoc networks that is manet is shown here in these two diagrams the manet is formed by the set of mobile nodes these all are mobile nodes these mobile nodes can be anything it can be a laptop it can be a mobile phone it can be a desktop machine with the wireless interface capability and the communicating and by communicating among themselves by means of the air as a communication medium so wanets can use either of the topology it can use single hop communication as well as multi hop communication now the first diagram shown here shows the single hop communication of the mobile ad hoc network in the single hop communication all the hosts are in one coverage area like you can see here in this one coverage area all the mobile nodes are communicating with each other so thus the communication in this case is direct from host to host on the other hand in the multi in the multi hop communication shown here in the second diagram the host communicates by using the intermediate hosts such as internet communication thus there are many coverage areas like you can see here these dotted circles are showing the coverage areas all of them are showing the various coverage areas now these coverage areas can also intersect each other like you can see here there are many coverage areas and all of them a few of them are intersecting each other there is one which is you know which is separate and sometimes some host may be isolated which may not be in any of the coverage area of the network like you can see here this one is not lying in the coverage area of any of these networks this is called as the multi hop architecture so as the mobile devices from the manets without a network infrastructure network can ch change constantly so firstly the devices can move freely in the network secondly the devices can leave and join the network at any time finally the network disappears when the last device leaves the node so in a manet they are free to join they are free to move and it gets you know disappeared it vanishes when the last communicating device leaves the network the communication takes place within a group of two or more people the communication group may be formed for one communication session only or for many communication sessions 
द कम्युनिकेशन ग्रुप मे रिमेन अनचेंज ड्यूरिंग द कम्युनिकेशन और इट मे चेंज कॉन्स्टेंटली ओके अनदर थिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउट मैनेट इज दैट इन अ मैनेट ईच नोड एक्ट एज अ होस्ट एज वेल एज एज अ राउटर ओके सो दे विल एक्ट एज इधर अ होस्ट और अ राउटर एज अ राउटर इट रिसीव द पैकेट फ्रॉम द नेबर्स एंड फॉरवर्ड्स टू द नेबर्स डेट कैन लीड द पैकेट टू द डेस्टिनेशन सो इट एक्ट एज अ राउटर बेस्ड ऑन द ट्रांसमिशन रेंज इट कैन डिस्कवर इट्स नेबर्स एंड यूज दैम एज एडजस्टेंट राउटर्स फॉर फॉरवर्डिंग द डेटा सो एंड सेकेंड केस इज इट कैन ऑल्सो एक्ट एज अ होस्ट वेन इट इज एक्सिक्यूटिंग सम नेटवर्क और होस्ट बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम्स थैंक यू आई होप द टॉपिक इज क्लियर टू यू थैंक्स